Welcome to my channel. In the last video, I gave you my thoughts on the practicality of using the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 after about three months, and how, honestly, I've kind of kept it in a drawer for most of the time. But I ended up using it on an adventure, and I thought the footage was actually pretty good. But my whole thing whilst getting this camera is, is it more practical than just using your phone? Of course, the image quality is going to be better, but how much better? This is a much smaller sensor, especially because it's the 12 Pro Max. But let's stack some of the footage side by side and see how it really looks. Does it make that much of a difference? Let's see. like when comparing focal lengths actually the ultra wide on the pro max is closer than the medium lens this is an interesting test because really looking into the light there's a lot of high contrast here on this image so I hope you got a bit of value out of seeing that shot by shot I actually thought it was quite interesting the phone still does incredibly well in most of those scenarios but you can definitely see the reduction in quality and some of the areas in which that sensor is being stressed a little bit the phone actually manages to handle that contrasty area quite well, but anytime you want to lift some shadows even more, you can really tell the loss of detail and the kind of muddiness in the image. The Osmo Pocket 3, however, you can lift those shadows a lot more, lift those mid-tones a lot more, and there's still quite a bit more detail in them. I'm noticing that the Osmo seems to blow out some of the highlights a bit more though, which aren't really recoverable. But overall, of course, the image is much better on the Osmo, and I do kind of think that if you are intentionally going out to film something, it's probably better to bring the Osmo Pocket 3 over the iPhone. Um, but of course, like always, the phone is always a great backup, especially as you have it with you almost all the time. Unfortunately, I don't have a 15 to compare it to. Maybe I will in the future. I also have my Canon C70, which I'm filming on right now. And I'm gonna do a little bit of comparison shot by shot with the Osmo Pocket 3 and the C70, just for fun to see how the images compare, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching this video, I hope you got some value out of it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.